In support of the global war on terror, the 15th MU is deployed with Expeditionary Strike Group 1 to the Arabian Sea. The current mission of the 15th MU is to conduct surveillance and interdiction of insurgents crossing into Afghanistan from the Pakistan border. The MU commander elected to insert two platoons from his battalion landing team and his force reconnaissance platoon into three widely dispersed sites along the border. They have been in place for 72 hours and now require resupply. As part of the logistics plan to support this operation, the ESG and MU staffs will employ an Air Force vertical heavy lift asset, the Quad Tilt Rotor, or QTR, and smaller unmanned marine tilt rudder aircraft called freighters, designed to carry about 1,500 pounds of cargo. The Air Force liaison officer and the ESG logistics officer conduct final coordination of the QTR lift of supplies from the sea base and the subsequent rendezvous with the freighters inside Afghanistan. The quad should be arriving at 1600 local. We'll depart right after sunset at 1915 local. Our mission planning shows 535 nautical miles from our current position on the LHA to the expeditionary support site. That should take the QTR a little over two hours to transit. The three empty freighters will depart from the LPD and rendezvous with the QTR here. The freighters will refuel from the QTR while our crews offload the QTR and redistribute the supplies to the three freighters. We expect the offload of supplies and the refuel to be completed in just about 25 minutes. These are the routes the freighters will take from the ESS to the three platoons. The distances are between 125 to 135 miles for each route. The LPD will close to about 250 nautical miles from the ESS departure point, so the freighters won't require refueling before they return to the LPD. The QTR supporting this operation is originating from this larger Joint Force sea base. This fully developed sea base employs the new MPF logistics ship, designed to accommodate the vertical heavy lift QTR. The resupply mission begins with the quad arriving aboard the LHA. The unmanned freighters repositioned to the LPD to be closer to the objective area. Now aboard the LPD, which is positioned about 360 miles from the expeditionary support site, the three freighters prepare to depart and rendezvous with the QTR. To avoid lower altitude air defense systems, the QTR initially flies at an altitude of 20,000 feet en route to the ESS. The QTR lands and establishes the temporary expeditionary support site. Supplies are unloaded and refueling equipment is deployed in preparation for the arrival of the three inbound freighters. The freighters arrive on schedule and a forward air controller with the QTR provides terminal guidance to ensure precision approaches and landings for each of the aircraft. Once the freighters are refueled from the QTR, the supplies earmarked for each of the dispersed platoons are loaded. The freighters depart on discrete flight routes from the ESS to the platoon locations. After departure of the freighters, the QTR crew secures the refueling equipment and depart. At this point, the ESS no longer exists, its purpose complete. As each of the freighters closes in on its unit's location, it sends a signal to the unit announcing its approach. The forward air controller communicates with the freighter via handheld terminal to provide it with an accurate and safe landing site. The freighter's ability to land at remote sites allows the supported unit the ability to send equipment and items back to its home base. The integral load sensing system, similar to this green go, no-go light indicator, simplifies the Marines or soldiers ability to safely distribute and balance the cargo. Once safely loaded and the zone is clear of personnel, the terminal controller uses his handheld transmitter to send the startup and launch command to the aircraft. The freighters return to the LPD to refuel and will remain aboard for subsequent tasking. The quad tilt rotor returns to the LHA to refuel and drop off support personnel and any equipment that was needed at the expeditionary support site. Mission accomplished. 
our dispersed marine units have been successfully resupplied at distances and locations that would have been impossible to accomplish with conventional aircraft. Bell Helicopter is dedicated to developing aircraft that will provide the key enablers that are critical to operational success for widely dispersed forces operating in asymmetric threat environments. Speed, range, and payload. At Bell, we believe that transformation is a mandate.